I'm to totally, totally understandable. All right, cool. Um, yeah, if you just say your name and then what part you're auditioning for, and then we'll get started. My name is Alex Rivelisak, and I'll be reading for Tommy. And I'm going to start on the middle of page two. I'll, I'll go and give you a cue line here to start with. Okay. Um, wait, wait, Josie tell me, tells me we're getting a caller. Great, put him through. Hello, you're on the air with Don and Al for our super holiday weekend classic cinema clip countdown. Talk to me. Thank you, Don. Now, I just wanted to say... Oh, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Do us a big favor. Just just turn on that radio there, champ. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. So, I want to... I was, so, well, as I was saying... Well, hold on. What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm Tommy. Leonard and I are from... Uh, ne from Nepal Villa. Well, that's great. Yeah, so Tommy from Tommy from Naperville. Now, what was your question? Actually, I did not have a question. As I was saying, it was a Paula Paula Weiss. Pa Paula Weiss that did that. It was Paula Weiss that did that scream. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'm a. Um, just, you know, it's actually, it's not Paula Weiss. But, so, uh, I'm pretty sure that it is. She's famous for that scream. It kind of launched her career. Would you care to elaborate? Well, um, okay. When there was scheduled to record the quote, unquote, iconic scream, she was shooting her next film, Ice Age 2. Film returning to the Return to the castle from Professor Fulmich, which, by the way, was directed by Humber Chris Christopherson. 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 He was directed the night the night watchman, which listed as eighteen number eighteen in. In your uh, countdown away, she was unable to fly back from the recording, so they found a woman, which Wanda Makowski. Mm -hmm. She was she was undescribed, but in she was undescribed as an interview with uh, Lawrence Gable in July 1953, issued for now. Directed now defunct defunct modeling film magazine. He mentioned the indicating. Huh. Well, uh, that uh, is interesting. One one of McCloskey, you say? Huh. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> thanks for so much for calling us, Tommy from Naperville, for stumping the chumps. We're gonna send you a free. Oh, sorry. That's okay. uh, Thank you. Goodbye. Right. Um, can I hear something from you? Um, yes. I would like for you to say the Pledge of Allegiance uh, in a big, booming, excited voice like you might hear a radio talk show host as he's talking uh, about something really exciting. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Holy crap. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> to the republic, <laughs> to the republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, liberty. What? Liberty. Thank you. With liberty <laughs> and for all. All right. Okay. Um, I was wondering. I do have. I'm thinking about that. Whenever you're ready. It was one of those days. Just a minute away from snowing. You hear this electricity in the air. You could almost hear it. And this bag was just dancing with me. Like a small child begging me to play with it for 15 seconds. And that's when I realized that there was an entire life behind things and that this incredible benevolent force wanted me to know that there was no reason to ever be afraid. A video is a poor excuse, I know, but it helps me remember. I need to remember, because sometimes there's so much 
beauty in this world that my heart can't take it. And it feels like it's going to cave in. What do you have? You have nothing. All you have is your anger. All you have is a military, which I don't see eye to eye with you, so you beat me down, you kick me, but I'm always going to get back up. I'm sad for you, because I can see the beauty and you can't. I'm sad for you. Had to have the, the soundboard with all the wacky sounds and stuff like that. That kind of a radio DJ. Mm -hmm. You know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, you said top ten. Like the the top ten uh, musical choices for the week or something like okay. that. You know. And that was such and such by so and so. And up next we've got this and this. You know? right. Wow, those good old times. Oh, I love them. That was just spin doctors right there. Hey, hold on one more minute. Let's do another little, oh, how about we say, uh, Kesha to throw in the mix. All right, here comes Kesha. I'm telling you, man, these songs are crap, okay? <laughs> can, we, can we go back to, like, the old stuff? I mean, just what the hell is going on? Whoa, that was an amazing song right there. It gets you up in the morning, dancing around. Yeah, TikTok on the clock. This is John Coughlin here. What would you like to hear next? Ah, shut up, never mind. I'm gonna pick something for you. Um, I'm gonna throw a little something. Oh, how about uh, Nicki Minaj? Really? <laughs> throw me a Nicki Minaj? <laughs> some who or you know some just something? Okay. I'm fired. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Let's hold on a bit, and then we'll jump and then we'll jump right into it. Okay. My name is Barbara Richardson. I'm reading for DA Slodonovic, and uh, I'm an independent. It's done then. I'll take him care of. Yeah, that birdie ain't gonna sing no more. Yeah, see? Sometimes I wish you would take a more professional approach to your work. Come on, what's the problem? The situation's been handled, right? We've been doing this together long enough. Do you doubt my thoroughness or my ability to handle my men? No, I do not. It's merely your flippant proclivity and the severity of the repercussions which failure would bring. That is what causes me alarm, Detective Price. Do not get me wrong, Price. I have full faith in your abilities. So, it's completed? Completely handled? Yeah. I put my best, put my best guy on it. He's not got the best people skills, but when it comes to these kinds of things, he's second to none. Good. Who's handling the investigation? Is it someone we can trust? <laughs> well, I sure hope so. We're all in trouble. I see. Is there anything else? Yeah, actually there is. Uh, look, one of the dealers that we hey, hey, please. I do not wish to know the details of your dealings. Very well. One of the guys we used, a third party, uh, got picked up a few weeks ago. He had a pretty large amount of product. Uh, anyway, there's a hearing set for next month. I understand. Leave the file. I will take care of it. Your third party will find the charges dropped. Oh, detective? Yes. Please stay away from my receptionist. Things were so terribly awkward with the last one. Thank you. Very good. That's very good. Yeah. And then just jump right into it. Who's yeah. going to read with me? You are? I am, yes. Okay. My name is John Yall. I'm an independent actor in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and I'm reading for Price today. Morning, Joe. Thank you, my good man. You, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. You're welcome. So what have we got? <sighs> Not a lot, I'm afraid. Vic's name was Rachel Taylor, 27 years old, white, obviously. Uh, lives two streets down. She was shot three times in the face last night. Coroner estimates it was around 2.30ish. It was done execution style, though there are signs of a struggle on her body. Near as we can tell without a test, she wasn't raped. Uh, and the bullet was a 9mm, pretty standard. No casing recovered. There's a small trail of blood, which appears to be hers, going from her house to her body. A neighbor uh, called it in early this morning, backed his car out, and nearly ran the body over before he noticed the pool of blood in the side mirror. My initial thought is gang-related. Gang-related? Really? This is hardly there I'm up. Oh, yeah, I know, but this neighbor, 
It seems almost, it seems almost too obvious. Uh, it feels more like something professional or something. What? Anybody here see anything last night? Yeah. Uh, actually, I had uh, I had yet to get to that part. Figured you'd uh, want to go with to campus and neighbors. Yeah, we'll definitely want to do that. Uh, someone must have heard or seen something. It was the middle of the street. Mm. Uh, yeah, sure thing, Joe. Well, uh, let's get to that. You, uh, you want to take a lead? Okay. <clears throat> well, pretty good so far. <laughs> Dang, really? Really? This is hardly their MO. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I know, but uh, this neighborhood? seems almost too obvious. This feels more like something professional or something. Anybody here see anything last night? Uh, actually, I had yet to get to that part. Uh, figured you'd uh, want to go with, like, to cam campus and neighbors, you know? Yeah, we'll definitely want to do that. Look, so, uh, some of us have heard or seen something. It was the middle of the street. <sighs> yeah, sure thing, Joe. Well, let's get to that. You want to take lead? Okay, good. Good. Good.